Hey guys, it's Jake here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of truck suspension upgrades that you can add to your vehicle. The main reason why you'd want to get a suspension upgrade on your truck is because you're experiencing an extreme amount of sag. Because from the manufacturer, trucks are coming with very weak suspensions in the rear so that you have a more comfortable ride whenever you're driving your truck. But that sag will cause some issues so we need to find a solution to provide more support to the rear so we don't have that. The two categories we're going to be talking about today are going to be air springs and jount springs. Now the biggest difference between our two categories here is going to be the adjustability. With our air springs you're going to be able to adjust the air pressure in the springs to be able to match the load that you're carrying. With our jount style springs you're not going to be able to adjust it so the pressure that it is applying um, to your suspension is going to match whatever trailer you're pulling. So if you have a light duty trailer, they may not engage, but if you're pulling a heavy duty trailer, um, the either style is going to engage and provide extra support so your vehicle stops sagging. Now when it comes to our air springs, there's gonna be a little bit of a difference between the two styles. But the style we have here, it's gonna mount next to your existing suspension on your vehicle, and it's going to take some of the weight of your load that you're hauling and put it on the airbag rather than on your suspension. When it comes to our other style, this is gonna go on the inside of your coil spring if you have coil springs on the rear of your vehicle. Essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna limit the amount of travel that your coil spring has, therefore reducing the amount of sag in the vehicle. Now the biggest difference between these two is going to be the application. If you're hauling heavy duty loads or even light duty loads, um, you can use this bag. Um, I would highly recommend it. It's what I've had on my truck since I bought it. The adjustability in this bag is going to be tremendous to be able to match the load that you're carrying. Um, when it comes to this bag, if you have coil springs, it may be the only option that you have. Um, so it's still gonna be a good adjustable option to be able to support the rear end of your vehicle. Now when looking at our jump style springs, the main difference between them is going to be the size of the load that you're carrying. If you're carrying a light to medium duty load, um, our sumo springs are probably gonna be the option for you because they're gonna give you the support that you need, but they're gonna be made out of a urethane uh, material, which is essentially just a thick foam, and it's gonna provide a more comfortable ride when they're engaged and when they're not engaged. Now, if you're carrying trailers that are heavier than, a, say, a medium duty trailer, um, then you're gonna have to go with our timbering kit. The reason why you would need this is because this rubber is so hard, it's gonna provide the most support in a jump style bumper to be able to support the rear end of your vehicle. So if you're getting close to that payload capacity or the tongue weight capacity of your vehicle, um, a jump style bumper uh, in the uh, Timberins would be much better. The number one complaint that we hear about Timberins is that they are so stiff that if they engage prematurely, um, they are going to make it's a it's a hard um, banging noise that you can feel through the truck. Whereas the the sumo springs are going to be much softer. So a few examples to describe applications that these are used for. Um, I have a friend here at eTrailer that has a set of these sumo springs on his truck because he had a set of Timberins before, but he didn't like that uncomfortable feeling that he got. But he also wasn't hauling a load that was heavy enough to engage the Timberins. Um, he decided to go with the sumo springs because he's hauling light to medium loads, um, like he'll haul a four-wheeler in his truck or maybe a light trailer with a tractor or um, some lawn equipment on it. So he didn't really need the strength from a timber end to be able to support the rear end of his truck. Uh, me on the other hand, I have had a set of these um, air springs on my truck for since I bought it because I'm hauling a fifth wheel that weighs about 12,000 pounds. Um, I'm hauling goosenecks with loads on it and a variety of about 10 different types of trailers all throughout the whole year so I need the adjustability whereas my friend does not. So all in all what it comes down to is what kind of trailers are you hauling and is it going to be the same load all the time? How much does it weigh and how often are you towing that trailer? If you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll see you next time.